Hello. Hello. Welcome back. The last day of Ludo Naracon. Fourth day. Fourth day and final day. Make yeah. sure to download the no longer home demo. Yeah. How long is the demo available for? I can't remember. Um, I think it's like end of today PST. Okay. Yeah, you should it's definitely finished. go check it out. Yeah. It's, it's free after all. Yeah. Um, would you like to tell us, tell everyone what we're doing today? Uh, today is going to be a chill art stream where I just draw no longer home related stuff. This is, was just like a test sketch, so this has nothing to do with it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I'm not very, I don't know, I've not chosen what to draw quite yet. I'm guessing I'll just, I don't know, come along, I'll have some sparks of ideas as you may call yeah. at some point. I guess feel, um, feel free to oh, yeah. uh, post ideas in the chat and maybe we'll pick some out. Yeah. Um, hi, Ellie and Beck, by the way. Hello. So, yeah, I've, I don't know what to draw here. I should have thought of something to, to <laughs> draw, but... I remember... Okay, so... Um, I remember maybe last week before we moved out, um, I don't know if you were trying to grab a plant or something, but I remember you hanging out of the window. Oh, like... I don't know if you have a reference picture to that. Yeah, I'll, I'll have a look for one and send you... Send you it. They definitely do. dig through my laptop's photos. I don't have a lot of photos from uh, our time in that flat. I think, if I remember correctly, I was wearing a skirt in that picture, but I'm just gonna not draw it that way and draw it the yeah, no longer enough. home way. Yeah. But, yeah, like this stream also sort of serves as a Q and A kind of thing as well, or just just kind of like a chill hangout sort of thing. Yeah. So. Yeah, just feel free to throw any questions at us. I'll uh, drop it in the uh, Discord. You can have a look. Okay. Hopefully me opening Discord on my laptop doesn't funk stuff up. Actually, you know what? I have to log in. I'm just going to post it in Slack. Uh, just pick WhatsApp it to me or something. It's on my laptop and I don't have WhatsApp on my laptop. Okay. Difficult. <laughs> I don't know how to work technology. I just know how to make video game. Don't, don't read our Slack messages. It's fine, it's not up on the- oh, you have got it up on the screen! <laughs> yeah. I forgot. Well, posted. well, that's the picture for everyone to see. I'm actually trying to remember what the back of the garden looked like. I'm very, uh, I'm not a background person. No. Yeah, I remember that was always something you struggled with. Um, actually, I've got a, um, I've got a, a picture of it further back where it's just you hanging out the window on your own. I'll send you that as well. There, there we go. go. Live. 
Okay. I hope everyone's having a chill Monday. Yeah. I had a relatively chill. I actually did some very long home localization today. Which oh, yeah. is uh, kind of a bit slow, but okay. It's getting there, it seems like. Where, what what sort of point are you up to? I, I guess you're just kind of doing it sort of haphazardly. You're sort of just choosing easier scenes first, aren't you? Yeah, I've not really um, chosen any specific ones. I'm kind of trying to plow through vignettes. Um, also, I just realized the Steam... Oh no, Steam is working. Good, okay. Yeah, it's fine. Steam, Steam streams are usually a bit I don't know. They they sort of choke and splutter a little bit, um, but that's nothing we can do. We can, we can't do anything about that on our end, unfortunately. Okay. Um, I'll try not to go quiet, but I tend to go a bit quiet when I'm drawing for yeah. obvious reasons. So. That's fine. Like it, um, it's it's a much chiller stream. I, I'm not expecting us to be like screaming and shouting while you're there. <laughs> yeah. While you're drawing. Yeah, I guess there's also music that I can't hear. Yeah. So that there's there's stuff to fill in the uh, the silence. How's your day been? Um. Yeah. I mean, you know, been doing a. Uh localization work. Um, I'm trying to remember which side goes fringe goes. Okay, if that was a slide, that's the opposite direction. Um, yeah, I've been keeping it relatively chill. Um, not really done much apart from localization stuff, except for yeah. playing a bit of Mario Kart and getting upset over a uh, NPCs, not NPCs, computers. <laughs> I mean, how's, that, how's your day been? That's oh, far more than I've done. I mean, I, I went to the shops and played Pokemon when I once I got home, and that's it. Oh, sounds true. I mean, I guess it's still like the afternoon for you. Yeah. Yeah, it's only four o'clock over here. It's nice. So, I um didn't make for me, so Yeah. But, I mean we were talking just before the stream, like we're both quite tired now. Um Yeah. It's uh, I don't know. It, we we had a, a a very intense period period of development and then like since then we've just been sort of like keeping up with all this like rapid fire admin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then you've you've been working on localization, of course, as well. So, and also still like living the waves of post-release, sort of like you know, how to feel, sort of. Yeah. Um, hi, Jamie. Uh, the start of yesterday's stream. Um, yeah, that. So right now the VOD is on Twitch, but we'll also be uploading it to YouTube later in the week as well. I'm usually not this slow at drawing. It's just when I'm put on the spot, stuff happens. This is <laughs> Hannah. This is not slow. <laughs> this is this is considerably speedy. Like. You've seen how how slowly I draw. Well, I mean, you know, it's it's my it's my job, it's my work, and I need to do like quick turnarounds. But when when someone's watching, I'm just like, ah, it's fine. Like like I said, it's not like we're doing like a Dark Souls or like Hitman stream. You know, we don't need to keep up like yeah. the bonanza. <laughs> Oh, 
What'd you what you get to in a Pokemon? Uh, I've just last I'm... time I heard you were Milo. Yeah, I just beat Nessa, so I'm not like that much further. I've been really taking my time with it. Um, I've yeah. just been kind of like catching all of the Pokemon along the way. Um, What's just... your starter? Uh, Grookey. Nice. Yeah. Ultimate, the the best choice, I would say. They're all pretty solid starters, to be honest. Like I'm, I'm I think it's a pretty good, uh, good generation for starters. Like, yeah. uh, I did kind of want to go for Subble. Yeah, I think like, in terms of, I don't know. I'm gonna try not to get hate for this, but like, <laughs> um, you don't like in terms of like final evolution. Final. Yeah. Yeah. Was it Cinderace or something? I just yeah. think the design's really bad. It 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 is a bit more uh, Digimon adjacent. Yeah, I think like it's just you know the minuscule hands. It's like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> like you know, I know like football people don't use their hands because the moment they do, it's like a red card. But like, you know, you didn't have to make them like golf ball size. Hmm. Yeah, I I've not I've not looked at the design too closely. Also, hi Glenn. Oh hello. <laughs> Come to the stream for Dark Souls, and we're doing art. SMH. How lowbrow of us. <laughs> <laughs> So Jamie says, I missed how you do avoidance of objects in the environment. I saw how you had a mesh on the floor for navigation collider, meshes and objects, but not sure how you direct the character around the objects automatically. Um, oh gosh. You know, uh, I can't remember what I use for that specifically, but um, Unity has some, <clears throat> some built-in stuff for navigation. Um, and I think I probably used... Um, one of those that can update live, like I think it has, um, it has functions where it, it will like update the mesh, um, like it'll keep baking it as long as like this object is, uh, moving along it. Uh, I forget the technical term, um, for like the component inside of Unity, but I think that's the, the sort of the gist of it. I don't understand a word you just said, but I'm going to assume <laughs> it's all true. <laughs> it's, there's not a lot of places where we have, like, um, moving objects in the scene. That... Yeah, and that, like, you have to avoid as well. Yeah. Or that the character has to avoid. Yeah, so, um, for those cases, it was kind of, um, I just kind of improvised with like what tools I could find within Unity, um, and hopefully none of it breaks. <laughs> That's my answer. Oh, well, I mean, you know, it's not been broke, so oh god, one yeah. famous again, again. Oh my god! Oh my now. god! We're going loads. <laughs> Jesus. Help. Mods! <laughs> Ellie, if you could uh, zap those. Wow, we might have to switch it to like follower in the chat if this continues. Oh my god. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna switch it to follower only. Jeez. Uh, for those watching on Steam, we're also so streaming give to it, Twitch. Give it follow. <laughs> and that's what's happening right now. Um. Oh boy, oh boy. Damn, give us a give us a follow if you'd like to <laughs> comment on the stream. Yeah. On on Twitch that is. On Steam, there's you know. We are famous now. Just being raided by loads of uh, spam bots. Thank you, Ellie, for keeping up with all of those. Yeah, thanks. 
I'll give it like 10 minutes or so and try switching back to uh, non-follower chat, but uh, for now, that's what we're, we'll do. It's so annoying. Baby, baby time out. Yeah. I don't know why, like, Twitch doesn't have um, proper tools for sorting that. Like, I don't know why they don't uh, sort of automatically just ban those accounts, because it, it's very clear mm -hmm. that they're just, like, spamming these messages. Yeah. I feel like there should be, like, you know, when you post a link or something, there should be, like, an are you sure sort of, like, um... What do you call those things? Like, I'm not a robot kind of things. That might be something you could set up with, like, Nightbot or something. Um, where you got, like, quarantine for messages with links. I'm sure there's, yeah. I'm sure there's some sort of extension you could set up for that. Broken. Why were you reaching I out of that window? That. I don't remember. I think I was just taking the piss. <laughs> Playing the fool. Yeah, that that hand does not look right. Oh. Would work though. Hmm. <laughs> the eternal dilemma. I mean, you could just not do the hand and like pretend it's it's somewhere not visible. Uh, I'll make it work somehow. Maybe. Maybe this was okay. Yeah, because. Yeah, I think that is fine. I mean, it's it's sketchy enough that no one would really notice. Yeah, it's fine. Um, uh, Jamie, for source control, we're using um, we're using a uh, Bitbucket and Source Tree. Um. And and anything you use, it it's all going to be much the same, honestly. Um, and yeah, it's good for Unity development. I I would say, um, even if you're working on something solo, it's very useful to have source control to like uh, debug revert your game stuff. Yeah, yeah, and to revert stuff. You know, like if you if you add a bunch of code in the game. And suddenly everything's broken. Being able to just like go back to a previous version is really useful. And just figuring out when that bug was actually introduced. Yeah, there were a lot of times like our sort of classes have been saved by reverting commits and stuff. It's like, oh jeez. Yeah. Yeah. God. <laughs> yeah, I would say like uh, s source control um, is essential if you're working in a team, but I would definitely recommend it even if you're working solo. Yeah. I, I think it feels, for me at least, it feels difficult to get the hang of, and it's like, uh, what if I commit something that breaks everything? But like, the thing with that source control is that you can revert things, and I keep forgetting yeah. that. Oh no, don't worry, like, I mean, you know, this is an MAA sort of, like, oh, AMA. Yeah, we're, we're happy to answer any questions. Away. Yeah, whether it be, like, technical or about the game, I mean, like, specific scenes and stuff, like, literally whatever is fine. Hopefully you can actually work out what's going on in this. <laughs> I think it'll be uh, easier to tell once there's a bit of colour in it, maybe. 
Yeah. If if you want to add color, that is. I, I don't. Um, I don't want to back maybe seat. Some, <laughs> maybe some spot colors. Um. I've been leaning more towards like a. Oh, sorry. No, no. Go ahead. Like, I've sort of been leaning towards more sort of not black and white, but like not using that many colors lately. I think it's just because I'm lazy. <laughs> Fair enough. I think we, you just kind of need. It's it's hard to hard to tell because I'm looking on a very uh, small screen at the stream. Um, let, let me let me open Discord and then I can see a bigger bigger screen. I think you can tell what's going on. I think maybe you'd need a bit more contrast from like uh, bow to the background. Yeah, I think because I've not really added shades to things yet yeah yeah i've been like adding more sort of like mag not like manual shading but like um is it like shading on the line art sort of things right lately, yeah. just because i can't really be bothered to go there something like you know <laughs> with these lines and stuff the, you, you, yeah i don't know don't phrase it like that it's it's a stylistic choice it's not it's not being it, lazy <laughs> yeah, it's a stylistic choice, but sometimes cannot be bothered. <laughs> you know, it looks okay, so it's fine. <laughs> I mean, it, it's like the whole, you know, it's not a bug, it's a feature. Hey, well, yeah, basically, there you go. <laughs> it's a neater way of putting it. So if I do like this a lot, I you know can't help but to move my canvas around constantly. So if it bothers you, then I think it's fine personally. Nice for not watch. Think <laughs> you watch me draw or write in real life? I, I seriously like draw like this, like um screen completely tilted sort of thing oh I, I i mean i do the same thing i always like rotate the screen like depending on what sort of direction i want to be drawing in like yeah it, it just helps so much with like getting those lines out we go like full like 90 degree turns sometimes i i got yeah same someone commenting on it once really like, why do you do that i'm like why don't you do that i mean like you know like if i'm if I'm drawing on a piece of paper, I often like rotate the paper as well, you know? Yeah. Like, very short angles as well. Just like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's easier than to like, you know, shift my entire body. Yeah. Getting hungry. Bricks, whatever. Um, this is just gonna be like void space, whatever. <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> now you are being lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of wild the physicality of doing art stuff and not just in a Jackson Pollock way. I don't know, I yeah. Jackson Pollock. I think, like, um, you do have to think about the physicality of it because um, a lot of artists really don't and they end up with a lot of uh, body pains. <laughs> That's not really a, a palette I would have seen. Okay, okay. I get it now. There you go for the layered that's, effects. That's Jackson Pollock for you. Yeah. There you go. But you need more sort of uh, line splatters. <laughs> oh, oh, that's horrible looking. Um, two more. Drip. 
There you go. <laughs> Banksy came along and graffitied over Jackson Pollock's work. Which uh, obviously increased the worth of it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> go to art school, everyone, anyway. and then you can do stuff like this. <laughs> Like, no, no shade on Jackson Pollock. No, I, I quite enjoy some Jackson Pollock. I think I need to be looking at his stuff in real life, though, because, like, if you just look at a fucking yeah. paper, it's like, you know, whatever. You need you to know. get the sense of texture on it. Yeah. I don't know if Good old 6B pencil it is, like usual. <laughs> yeah, just use what you're familiar with. Yeah, there's only... There's really, like, two brushes I use. It's this one and... This one. Sometimes that's all you need, really. I guess it depends yeah. on your style, but... Yeah, sometimes you just gotta keep it simple. Yeah, because, like, are you... Like, Back in the day, you used to use a lot of like very clean, sharp edged mm -hmm. hands and stuff, but I just can't be bothered. <laughs> so, what, what you're saying is, is you're stuff. just a much lazier artist now. Yeah. You're washed up, now you're getting work. It's like, well, I don't need to bother anymore. I'm getting paid. Yeah, you know, it's kind of like, you know, <laughs> like. Like, doing, you know, very sharp edge lines and stuff, like, I still enjoy that, it's just, like, I'm not feeling it anymore, I just want, like, I want to be more lax. Mm. Um, yeah, no, that's fair enough. But I think, like, um, that is also, like, an interesting practice to, to making art, you know, to being very, um, very free and, like, like carefree with your drawings. Yeah. I want to be more lax, I say, as I manually just color in everything <laughs> without using the paint tool. I'm an idiot. Uh, are you doing it on a different layer? Yeah, this is all on a different okay, layer. Okay, okay. Just making sure. You know, yeah. It's the, the classic mistake I do all the time. It's a mistake that still make a lot and it kills me especially for professional work <laughs> it's like at least 15 minutes of work down the drain yeah it's like, horrible freaks my nuts out <laughs> no, i don't know what's going on with this anymore i hope people are finding this fun to watch by the way yeah, I, i'm i'm enjoying it hopefully everyone else is yeah yeah like i think it's always fun to watch people draw and like see their um their process yeah yeah but it's like whether or not not whether or not like it it's really kind of like you know everyone's process is fun to watch but is my process fun to watch mm -hmm. I think it is, yeah. Okay. I, like I said, I'm enjoying it. Uh, if one person is enjoying, then it's worth doing. Mm -hmm. That's my motto as an artist. It's not. My motto as an artist is I uh, just draw what I want. <laughs> Uh, it's like I really love like this stuff, James. Francis... Oh, sorry, go. Oh no, it's like it's, if anyone watched the Oscars today, it's like you know Francis McDormand's speech, just simple. Like you know, I don't have any artistic like dogmas or whatever. It's just like yeah, whatever, man. I, I have lost all interest in the Oscars. It was, uh, I think, like, this year's was quite nice in terms of it not being too flashy and everyone just, like, 
Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Um, Glenn was saying that uh, he loves the stuff um, James Turner posts on Twitter. Yeah, James yeah, Turner's work is very satisfying. That's um, like Pokemon James Turner, right? Yeah, yeah. Where yeah, it seems he like he posted um, the Golurk today, saying like, yeah. oh, it's one of the uh, first Pokemon's I designed, and I was like, oh, base. <laughs> Yeah, the the only thing I sort of really know about the Oscars is that uh, they made like a like an NFT. Apparently, the model oh, for that was Chadwick stolen. Boseman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a it was a very strange ceremony because like they were definitely like. Ramping it up so that like Chadwick Boseman would get the post. Um, yeah, that's what I heard. Morton win, but like Very Anthony strange. Hopkins got it. Which, you know, good for him. But yeah, I mean, he, he's a good actor, but it's just a bit like, why would you set up the ceremony in a way that where you're building towards that, and then yeah, <laughs> pull the rug beneath beneath your feet. Like I don't know. Yeah, especially Very when strange. like. Anthony Hopkins wasn't there physically, so like, um, Joaquin Phoenix was just like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll, the Academy will receive the award in his, uh, on his behalf, and just ended, like, abruptly. <laughs> That's very so odd. weird. <laughs> I don't know. As the years go on, the, the like, the more and more I, like, well, the less and less I care about Oscars. Um, yeah. Just the award shows in general. Yeah, and it's just kind of like, you know, how they're doing though, we're not going to nominate, like, films that don't feature, like, people of colour or LGBT people kind of thing. It's like, mm. yeah, but, you know, there's a lot of problems that you should fix first. Yeah. Within the industry. Well, and, that... like... That's the Cap. thing. Is it? It just. It just feels like, like virtue signaling, right? Yeah, because it's like, you know, anyone can cast minorities in order to win an Oscar. It's like, it's for the sole purpose of winning an Oscar, right? Kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know how it's much like, of that there actually. There actually I don't know how much of that there actually is, um, but. Um, I don't know. Like, I think that definitely having more representation within media is good. Um, but it's like, how much of it is like you know cash grab representation as well? I don't really bank on the Oscars to get it right either. Yeah. Well, I also feel like, um, sorry, dipping in quality on Discord. Um, but I, but I also feel like I, there are systemic problems within the industry that um, representation won't solve alone. Yeah, yeah, that's that's more of what I mean, I suppose. Like, there's more, there's a lot of underlying bigotry. And unless yeah. those get addressed, then what's the point? Yeah, this is definitely. Looking... Kind of ugly, but oh well. I don't, I don't agree at all. I, I, I really like it. Okay. <laughs> like I put too much detail into it, but nah. Oops. nah, it's fine. You're just, you're just stressing. It's because there are people watching, so it's like yeah, no, it's like you put more pressure on with it. my yeah, quote unquote art. <laughs> you don't need to put the quotes around it. Air quotes art. <laughs> oh, this is the same color as well. I see.
What drawing app are you using? Um, I'm using Procreate. Very good name, isn't it? Um, it's a very, very good drawing app. It's like Tenquid, I think. Yeah, it's for, on um iPad. Yeah. I don't know if it's on Android as well. Maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe it is. Hopefully it is. Uh, I'll look that up. There's so many brushes and things you can use. Like, there's a lot of like um, tools that I haven't actually used yet because it's just so versatile. Procreate is not available for Android. That sucks. With an Apple Pencil, yes. My life is different now that I have this. Yeah, Although, I mean, like I most- I really want to give kudos to Apple. <laughs> Fair enough. Though most of your commercial work is probably using it now, isn't it? Yeah, like, all the Family Mart stuff as well, or like any, like, before your eyes stuff I all did in, um, did in this. Yeah. For, for those who don't- one draw... For, for those sorry. who know, don't know, would you want to explain uh, the work you did for the Family Mart? Yeah, um, so Family Mart's one of the biggest um, supply chains, what do you call that thing? Convenience stores. Um, Family Mart's one of the biggest convenience stores in Japan, and I very luckily had the opportunity to um, draw some art for them for their sales, for their, like, chicken, fried chicken stuff. Um, when was this? It was, like, two years ago, wasn't it? Um, wow, so it was, like, day. yeah, um, it was for, like, in-store use, so my art would just kind of be, like, on the wall or like outside and things like that is quite surreal. Um, I can actually. Can I find? Right, right, hang on. Oops. <laughs> You're okay um... now. <laughs> Did you drop your iPad? No, the. <laughs> Left for Dead. Seeing um, fucking Alice from Left for Dead. <laughs> Also, I'm, I'm gonna issue you uh, a warning, Hannah. No, no oh, bad swear. passwords. <laughs> <laughs> it's a family-friendly um, stream. There we go. So, okay, I'll keep it PG. So, uh, I can't even operate my own website. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is where I drew, and it was to like be quote unquote exhibited in this sort of way. <laughs> quite wild. I've done it twice. Yeah. Um, and like the the little ones that you're seeing at the bottom, those are now now used on like the actual package design of this thing. Mm -hmm. So basically, Mars everywhere is wild. Um, so yeah, that happened. <laughs> that happened. So if you go to a <laughs> if you go to Family Mart now, you will see my art. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, draw, draw an Alice, draw a quick one. It's you know, no longer <laughs> home. not very related. No valve properties on the stream. <laughs> okay, one quick one. <laughs> <laughs> if I actually like remember how to draw him. <laughs> I'm amazed you can just do it from memory. I used to draw him a lot when I was in like first or second year of uni. So, uh... like, no judgment on that end. <laughs> but that's I got a lot of Tumblr clout for this back in the day. Back in your fandom days. Yeah. There's a lot of people who were like, oh no, like that person followed me. And like making a huge fuss out of it, it was really odd. You, you were Tumblr famous. I was, kind of. Like, <laughs> I actually used to draw a bunch of like, Homestuck stuff and people were like, oh wow. 
how things have changed. You've sold out yeah. now for making making work for, for the the big the big chicken <laughs> family mart. <laughs> big chicken, the big publisher. <laughs> the big little publisher. Yeah. Can't draw caps. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. If anyone does have any like requests, like small sketch requests, I'm happy to oblige. <laughs> I don't know how you manage to do people so well and so quickly. Like you, you get their like character f through in their face so well. Uh, practice. No, you know, it's, it's the same yeah, as like. So. Yeah, it's you know the same as you drawing backgrounds and stuff, right? Or like. Sure. Um, s space stuff. I can't do that. I mean, but I can't. I can't do backgrounds. Um, you know, just from the top of my head. I have to. I have to have a reference. But like you know, even still, like I think for me, even with reference, I struggle a lot. Mm. There you go. Beep. <laughs> there we go. It's enough deviation. Go. Back to no longer home, please. <laughs> we're, we're here to sell our game. <laughs> So, um, well, I, I think I should admit, right, like, I feel like one of the reasons I can draw people or, like, have more confidence drawing people is because I used to be in the Sherlock fandom, and, you know, <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch was a very good uh, way of practicing faces, because it's like, how do I, you know, make, some, make my drawing look like this person? I draw Oscar Wilde. Yeah. Um, let me finish coloring the base first, and then I'll... I don't know what Oscar Wilde even looks like. I know the... You don't, you don't know what Oscar Wilde looks like? I've never seen that before. You must have seen that, like, iconic picture yeah. of him, like, reclining on this, like, rock, right? Uh, I suppose so. I think, like, you know, if I see it, it'll probably ring a bell. But I'm not a I'm not in the I'm Oscar Wilde fandom. Just the just the Sherlock fandom. Yeah, just the Sherlock <laughs> fandom. Not even like Arthur Conan Doyle, you know, it was BBC. Horrible. It was a Terrible show. Of the, <laughs> Sorry if anyone still Locke. likes Sherlock. <laughs> but it's a bad show. Yeah. It's a really bad show. Like, I only I think I left it off very nicely because, like, it oh, didn't yeah, it go past worse. season two. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to. Yeah. So, you know, I've heard horror stories of it, and I was like, oh, well, I think, you know, I left it <laughs> at a very good place. Yeah. And not, I wasn't, like, genuinely disappointed with how it rolled out. <laughs> Some sins can never be forgiven. <laughs> <laughs> it did like it was so sinful that even hardcore John Locke people were like this isn't real well because the, with the final season like the final episode that it was so bad that people were like no they're just trolling us like there's gonna be this secret episode um, and it's happening when Sherlock usually comes on but it's this like other program it's like it's this whatever it's called like something tree or whatever and it was like it was just a different show like it wasn't anything to do with it it was just a weird conspiracy like the you know even just the fact that like they had to come up with a conspiracy theory to like 
satisfy themselves because it was such oh a God. horrible, horrible yeah. ending. <laughs> I feel bad. Yeah. Like, you know, I've seen I've seen shows that flopped in weird ways, but like not to that extent. No. Uh, yeah, that used to be um, my 2011-2012s. Actually, I think, no, it was 2012, but that's when the show started to sort of air. Yeah. I mean, that would have been when you... No, that you followed me a bit later, because you followed me, like, in the second year, didn't you? Yeah, that, you that accidentally... I followed you in my Valve days. Yeah, when you were, like, posting, like, TF2 and stuff. Yeah. Lots of uh drawings to scout TF2. <laughs> They're good character designs. They are very good. Like, you know, I'd still sort of compare them to like um what's it? Um it's the sort of copycat game. Not Apex. <laughs> yeah. uh, Overwatch. Um, Overwatch, yeah. <laughs> Took me a second as well. <laughs> yeah. Because no one, no one plays anymore. <laughs> like, because I, mean, I think about People it a lot. People definitely play it. Yeah, but like, not as much as they used to, um, yeah. I think. Yeah, it's definitely like, not still in its like, hype era. Yeah. A flop era. Wait. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Damn. No wonder. Okay. I oh. I did. I, was, I did I wonder. Drunk. I should have said something. <laughs> I'm so it's sorry. Get lazy. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Years worth of work lost. Yeah, gotta, gotta make up for the time. Look at Tool. <laughs> oh, the uh, uh, video froze for a sec. Oh, it's back. Cool. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, it's back. But like, yeah, again, I'm um, talking about, what was it? Team Fortress. Like, you know, their designs are solid and, like, the colors are extremely simple, but all the shapes of the characters are very easy to tell apart. Mm. And then you get, um, what's it? I lost it again. Um, Overwatch. White text. <laughs> <See? laughs> oh my god. Hold on. And then you get Overwatch, and like, <laughs> it's kind of just like an amalgam of everything, and it's like everything is just, you know, going everywhere and everything's happening at the same time it gets very confusing um it's like i can't tell anyone apart i think it, uh, i think it does that it it does like the different shapes okay um like it's not the worst like i think that there are definitely some shapes that like you can you know you can tell when there's a reinhardt um, oh yeah, and that kind of thing. But yeah, I definitely don't think it does it as successfully as like TF2. Um, and I, I think like also because TF2 is color coded, yeah, very heavily, and, and like there's very little variation to like the shapes of the women as well. Yeah, they're just you know sticks, just like meat with. Two sticks hanging out. Yeah, like, I mean, like there, there are oh. there are some exceptions, like like May. I guess like May and Zarya, yeah, are the only two exceptions. But everyone else just looks the same, and I guess it's Apex sort of has a, a similar problem because other women, yeah, much have the same body type. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, Apex has practically no variation in body types, like... Yeah. I think just Gibraltar is, like, a, a non, like, skinny character. Yeah. That, that's it. 
Yeah, whereas, you know, you got TF2 where everyone's basically a male wife. <laughs> Oh yeah, esports I, I can't follow at all. I, yeah. I just like Yeah, I guess that's true. It's the Esports are a, a, a very inaccessible for people who don't already know what's going on. Yeah. And even if you do, it can still be like lots of flashing colours. Yeah, I don't you know, I would try to watch like tournament D V D matches and stuff, but even it's even then, it's kind of hard to follow. It's like, I can't be really bothered. I'm just going to watch. DVD, I've YouTube actually found instead. a bit easier to follow. I think it's just like, in terms of like gameplay, it's a bit simpler to understand. Oh, like, yeah. But I think like, when it comes to tournament, it's just... Maybe I just don't like watching games. Or... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I still do remember, like, one extremely sick play that someone um, pulled off in a uh, Pokemon tournament. Mm. But apart from that, like, I just don't really find them memorable and accessible, I guess. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, pretty much almost done with this. Yeah, looking good. And then we're, uh... You can do the uh, Oscar Wilde. Oscar Wilde. <laughs> Filters make everything look better. But this is not the color. This is not a good color. This is how you do color grading. It's interesting to see like how you work with colors and like like post processing kind of stuff. This is where all the cheats are at. <laughs> this is when you plug in the uh, game genie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like that. This one's a bit too hard. Yeah. And then, um, see if I can. Dramatic aberration doesn't work as well as it used to. What kind of effects are you trying to appear, um, trying to pull off here? Um, there's like a... There's a glitch? There's like a... Thing that I did a bunch with Procreate, where it was like... Um... You have line art, and then you kind of, like, shift them around so they have, like, CMYK colors. Which used oh, to be chromatic average. that's cool. But it doesn't seem to be doing the same thing anymore. Hey. Maybe it so was, was uh, trying... a bug or something and you patched I'm not it. sure. I think I'm just not doing it correctly. Okay. Um, what am I trying to do? Let's... I don't know what I'm trying to do. Ooh, nice. Oh, that's obnoxious. <laughs> yeah, it's... It's a little bit much at the moment. <laughs> Bone now get destroyed by a meteorite. <laughs> it's like that, like, one 
meme that's always on Tumblr uh, of a uh, Santa Claus throwing this powder of light and the oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, yes, that's done. There we go, ready for Instagram. There we go. Oh, wait. Always comes with a. Wait, hang on, I'm not done. <laughs> I can't think about people getting stuck in windows without thinking of that lady who got caught in the window after she tried to. Throw poo out of the window. Got it stuck. <laughs> Wait, what got stuck? You kind of cut the out a little poo? bit. No, 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 it's um panda's comment. Oh wait, <laughs> I didn't. Uh, sorry, I didn't uh, see that. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait. Well, what's in here? I, d I am struggling to follow with the story, Panda. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say something in regards to getting stuck in windows, but it's not very safe for work, so I'll shut my mouth. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe save it for a different stream. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I know a thing or two about, about getting stuck in uh, tight spaces, and that's not a euphemism, yeah. that, that we're not we're not going there, okay? Um, but I remember when... Oh, that low. Yeah, I remember when um, I first visited you in Japan, uh, and we went to Nara. Um, oh, yeah. And, um, and we went to the temple, and there's a huge Buddha statue there. Um, so big that, like, the nostril you can, like, you can technically fit inside of it. Um, and so one of the pillars in the temple, they've just got like a uh, a hole carved out into it, which is the size of the nostril. Um, and so you can go through the like Buddha nostril experience and crawl through the hole. Um, and I got through it, but it was very tight. And there was a moment like halfway through where my arms were like pinned together, like pinned to my body. And I just thought, what if this is it? What if I die here? I might... I might have a picture of that. Is the Buddha hollow? I don't think so. Uh, maybe not. I'm not entirely sure. It's the one... it's like the... Yeah, the, the huge one in Nara. Um, let's see if I have a picture of you getting... ...stuck in the pillar. <laughs> you probably do. <laughs> That was... There, there was, there was a, a, a moment of existential oh, dread. because I, I like try to like I couldn't decide whether to like put my arms f first or like alongside me so I, so I did one one first and then one beside me um I got through eventually but... <laughs> yeah <laughs> horrible uh, this is supposed to give you like ultimate Good luck, apparently. Right. I'm not sure if I'm yes. feeling it just yet, but <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if that good luck has come through or not. Yeah. Maybe it has, and we just have been taking it for granted. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Uh I am going to post this on Twitter. Didn't see any of that. Um <laughs> 
Where's the stupid? There you go. The non binary artist. Is it this one? I don't know. No, I'll just give John this Italian <laughs> artist, it's fine. <laughs> Okay, Oscar Wilde. Oscar Wilde time. Yeah. Oscar Wilde time. Oh. There you go. Ah, oh, this is- he looks hard to draw. anyone has more requests, the, the time is now before I start and on another <laughs> drawing, potentially. He's got quite a long face, hasn't he? Yeah, maybe I'm uh, exaggerating that a bit, but it's fine. Caricature. I, I think... did have a caricature job at that one point. Oh god, yeah. I forgot about that. Um, I, I, I have a request. Um, I'd like to see Al berating Autumn for sitting in the mint. Okay. <laughs> Do you have a photo of that? Do you want me to, uh, send you one? Um, I might be able to get it up on Discord. Okay. Um, but yeah, actually, no, it might be better if you do send it to me so I can show chat. Yeah. Uh, right, let's go have a look, digging through the mines. <laughs> yeah, okay, I've got two photos here. I don't know how you're so good at, like, getting faces across so quickly. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's quite... Benedict Cumberbatch just taught me. <laughs> it's quite an impressive skill. <laughs> Oscar Wilde. <laughs> right, I hope you're happy. You take the eyes and mouth of this picture and flip them upside down. You'd be too terrifically angry. Oh, well, I could give it a go.
Wow. <laughs> I know people who look like this, I think. <laughs> That's a completely <laughs> different vice. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the quest. Uh, did you send it on Slack? Uh, yeah. Oh, look at him. <laughs> this is one of him looking quite ashamed. <laughs> Absolute loaf. <laughs> I need to get back to the nice drawing. Like, another thing you're really good at is like dynamic positions. Like again, that's thanks to Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just got to get back into the fandom, I guess. I guess it's like, it's that, and um, I also had like a huge band phase when I was in uni um, where I would just be drawing fan art of bands constantly. Right. This is like a repentance stream before I mm. repent all of my sins during university. Um, Maybe... That helped me a lot. Maybe I just got to start like, drawing more uh, like stills from films I like. Start simping for people. <laughs> Good advice. <laughs> it does help. I look away for one second and when I look back, the sketch is done. My sketch phase is very short as well. Oh, yeah. And I, um, I um, regret that a lot, actually. I take for all my sketches. I, I definitely want to speed it up. I, I kind of want to slow down with it just because, like, I would sometimes not understand my sketches and be like, what, what is this? <laughs> you forget what you're actually here. trying to do. Yeah. That's quite funny. Uh, that's interesting. Like, well, I think, I don't know, like, at least the sketches you've done so far on this stream, like, I think that are very effective at communicating um, what you want to draw. I think it's because it's, you know, simple enough, but when it comes to more complicated things, I'm just like, what was I trying to... Do? Right, <laughs> right. So, I could confuse myself a lot, but... I'm confusing myself saying most things in life, so it's not not a huge deal. <laughs> TBH. Be eating breakfast, be like, why am I doing this? <laughs> I feel like you might be exaggerating. Perhaps. <laughs> There's so many like work and thing. I'm not gonna show them, but like. I have so many work in progress sketches in this app just because I couldn't, like, I'm, I wasn't understanding what I was doing, so I was like, I'm going to leave this. <laughs> Maybe I'll, like, understand myself a bit more when the time comes. But the times usually don't come, which is a problem. And we for breakfast. Do you ever just get bored halfway <laughs> through eating breakfast? <laughs> I kind of get that sometimes. I'm like, I don't want to eat this anymore. Like, why am I... Like, why do I have to do this? 
<laughs> Does that, um... That thing from, like, when you were a kid about breakfast, right? Oh, yeah, I can get that out. Yeah, yeah, could you get that up? Instagram, I think. <laughs> Um, there you go. <laughs> I feel angry because I always have to wake up early and have to eat cereal every day. <laughs> what a mood. <laughs> <laughs> this was when I, I was in, I think, I was in first grade, so I was probably like six. Alright. Thanks for hanging out, Glenn. See you later. Oh, thanks for hanging out. Have a smashing rest of your Monday as well. We don't have any comments on Steam, do we? No, we don't. Okay, good. <laughs> you didn't see the Left 4 Dead art. <laughs> <laughs> Blur out in your mind. It was just a, it was just a redraw of what I drew back in a second year, you know, testing my abilities. Yeah. You definitely come a long way. I think I have. I want to. I want to think I have. Yeah, you de You have. You're definitely like a a much more then skilled I artist. At... I think it's. I feel like it. More definitely more confident. Yeah, yeah. I think confidence goes a long way with then art. I... Yeah, definitely. But sometimes I'd look at like, fan art stuff I did in the second year and be like, whoa, how did I do that? <laughs> you do that? Just... Yeah, it is quite nice looking about, back at old art and like finding a new like fondness for it. Yeah, and it's like there's also quite a lot of things you can learn from past art as well, being like, oh, this is, like, mm. you know, a style that I've not tried out in quite some time. Let's see if yeah. I improved with this. I don't necessarily hate old art, but, you know, it's like, when it comes to Sherlock stuff, I'm just like, oh, I should have draw any of this. <laughs> it's fine. You're over your cringe phase, and now you're epic. Now you are poggers. I am pog chunk, and I deserve <laughs> the chalky milk. The chalky milk. I think I definitely have improved with drawing, like, drawing hands, because it's like... The thing you have I've really good drawing hands, yeah. Love drawing hands. Like hands, if the drawing hands phase <laughs> in drawing didn't exist, then I think my enjoyment of drawing would have halved. <laughs> Which I'm sure a lot of people will um, not believe, because a lot of people usually hate drawing hands. I think drawing hands is quite fun. I think it, it's it's difficult, but um, it's sort of understanding how. Uh, fingers uh, fold, you know, like how the skin folds in different ways and like uh, how the fingers articulate is, is quite fun and interesting. Yeah, and I think it's sort of one of the best ways to um, think of things in a 3D space or a 3D way. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Because like when it comes to, you know, torsos and stuff, it's usually just kind of like square you know you have legs kind of thing it's all made out of squares oh no hands are kind of the Steve. same <laughs> <Basically>. <laughs> but like i think with hands there's so many things to keep in mind like you know all the fingers have different lengths and hmm. they have different like levels of moodiness and stuff I don't know. I, like, I do not like drawing feet though. Feet fuck, uh, messes me up. <laughs> Good save. A little bit late, but. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I. I... 
There are some artists you can tell really enjoy drawing feet. A bit too much. <laughs> a bit too much for comfort. Yeah. Feet are cringe. <laughs> <laughs> are cringe it's like <laughs> when i do manage to draw one that's like acceptable i'm like oh nice yeah maybe feet aren't so bad after all they aren't cancelled then sometimes i just be like I, I, screw feet i hate feet. <laughs> they are weird they like even when i look at them it's just kind of like those don't look real like, like, those aren't real anatomy. That doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. Return to monkey then, double like... hands. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Hands are superior. Like, if you... Um, if you do look at it, though, it's very, like... They do resemble hands a lot. And it's like... You know, you shouldn't be that hard to draw in that case, because it's like basically just hands, but a bit more flat, but... Mm -hmm. uh, like, finding the right balance, like, I don't know, just like... Like, I can't even, you know... TOS, TOS. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> it's... <laughs> like, that looks a bit odd. Yeah, they just they just look weird in general. N not not a good vibe. Don't like feet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not like repulsed by them, but I'm not like I don't know. Oh, I just think they're bad. weird. Yeah. Yeah, like I wouldn't buy their album. You know, <laughs> if they if it came on the radio, might listen, but. I went to like a, a Korean sauna once when I was young with like my family. Um, you know, it, it kind of works as like Japanese hot springs. And mm. um, I was in the sauna, and then this lady came up to me and she was uh, amazed by my toes. <laughs> God. <laughs> like, not in um, not in like a weird way. She was just like, "Oh, your toes are so long," and started like twiddling with them. That's a bit weird. It is like it is weird. I don't think I'd be very that. comfortable with that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just like now, yeah, uh, personal space, but yeah, oh, you it's right. fine. It's fine. <laughs> That's probably it for why not. Maybe. I can't remember what was behind. I guess the window. Yeah, that'd be the window over there, wouldn't there? <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it would just, I'll, I'll... just hackle your art. Boo! You call that a window? <laughs> <laughs> the antithesis of poggers <laughs> it's not the pog chat spirit that twitch <laughs> yeah you try to have uh, obscure feet <laughs> <laughs> censorship I do like a good bit of brickwork. Something very satisfying about bricks. I hate brickwork. Really? I hate it. Like like drawing it or or visually? Um, like visually they're okay. I don't really think about it much, but drawing it, I'm just like I can't be doing anything more boring than this. I I really enjoy it. I find it quite satisfying to draw, but hmm. but I I, I did mean visually. Oh yeah, visually, yeah, I love bricks. You know, they rule. Long with bricks, but <laughs> in terms of like drawing them, just you know, done. I'm done. With... Like I draw one, I'm like, ugh. Look! 
<laughs> long day, huh? It's not, I mean, not long. I don't think doing that much. Like, you know, Team yeah. Mario Kart is tiring. You can make, it gets me angry. <laughs> you do get road rage in Mario Kart. Yeah, so I, th I feel like that's why, you know, I'm kind of reluctant <laughs> to get a license. Or else I'm just going to, like, actually get road rage and, like, start. Oh, God. I hope not. Start, like, hitting people. <laughs> like running them over. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> so I already get like a similar reaction when I'm cycling when something like a jogger. <laughs> you just like, want to run them over. Degree. Yeah, I know, like, there's so many people who are just like in the way. I'm like, oh my god, I cannot. Well, I can. With you right now. I can understand having that impulse as long as you don't uh, follow through on it. I think we're oh, good. I don't follow through. When you're on the M4 and the blue shell hits. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it feels like, though. Just like, yeah. Uh, cause, yeah, because I was cycling, right? And then this, like, um, this lady on a normal, like, non cyclist bike just, like, almost hit me. Oh my god. Like, I was running a blue light and she was running a red light. She's like, oh, I'm sorry. It's like, yeah, sorry, my ass. You just, you know, it almost killed me. <laughs> and, um, stupid person. Um, <laughs> just going through my vocabulary of things I could say. Delinquent Haller tries to find descriptive words. <laughs> yeah, like, you, know, you do get joggers who, like, like almost ran into you and stuff. I had that the other day, and I was like, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ! Like, can you not look forward? You know, disease is pressing W in like an FPS game. Like, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, p pedestrians quite awful, quite off that often aren't very wary of cyclists. Yeah, it, it is quite frustrating. Yeah, like I kind of used to get that a lot but now you know i always make sure to look both ways before i cross the road and things yeah. like that and then you'll be king of the road yeah i, I mean i wish like, <laughs> when i'm cycling i just wish everything would get out of my way like i know i am fully aware that i am the one who's in the way mm -hmm. like i just get so much road rage i'm just like all of you just get out of here right now like you don't deserve to be here <laughs> right now toxic hannah <laughs> just, you know, bikes do that to you <laughs> do they <laughs> i think if i were riding a different bicycle just like a, a casual one that i wouldn't think that but i got a cross bike and it picks up speed a lot right Oh, yeah, I guess there is, like, I don't know, when you have good momentum, there's nothing worse than, like, being slowed right down. Yeah, it's like, e even, like, even when you're, like, walking, you know? And, like, this... Yeah. Like, if you're going through London and, and then you're, like, stuck behind, like, a, a crowd of tourists, you're just like, oh, come, move out the way, this is a city. <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> Casually strolling. We live in a society. <laughs> No, like, that stuff happens, like, especially when I'm, you know, not in a very good mood and someone, like, a, a couple or something, or, like, taking, taking a jolly good time just walking down the road. I'm like, you don't go, like, go home. <laughs> you don't stop being outside. <laughs> go sit on a sofa. I don't want you to be here. Yeah, like, if you're you know, not make going anywhere, get inside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just because you were walking like 0 0.5 miles slower than I was. <laughs> it's like, it's baby jail with you. Like, I don't, no one needs to hear that. Go home. <laughs> and get yeah, very upset. Yeah, <laughs> God, like. Uh, yeah, I would, I think in that terms, you know. I would love New York, because New Yorkers apparently walk very fast. Yeah, yeah. If you're not in, like, touristy areas, yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, I think same with London, you know. Tokyo. Yeah. Outside of those touristy areas, we, we walk quite fast. Yeah. Like, um, what's that? What's that bridge that's in front of a? Oh yeah, well, like Westminster Bridge and stuff. It's like, oh god. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of it. why are you here? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I would just like walk into the road to get past people. Yeah. But then sometimes like the cyclists are there and like they yell at you for being in the road. It's like, ah! Oh. Yeah, yeah, you do have to watch out because that's where I'm the cycle lane minded. is. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I want like a designated mine road. <laughs> just, like, watch out, this is Hannah's lane. No one can get in the way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I can't, I just can't stand people sometimes, it's like the audacity of being in front of me. <laughs> so entitled, Hannah. Yeah, like, you know, they, they would, like, come near me a bit too close to comfort sometimes, and I'm just like, go, just go away, <laughs> like, go away. <laughs> I don't. You know, I'm not a. Not very much a people liker. <laughs> maybe, maybe you would be if you just slowed down. You know, got a bit more zen. Zen means nothing to me. <laughs> <laughs> I try, I try, but mm. at the end of the day, I'm just like, oh, God, everyone's <laughs> slow. Everyone's in my way. And I just want to get by my day, but no one wants to cooperate. Although I am very fully aware that I am the odd one out of this situation. <laughs> it's it's tough. And uh hard life. Living living life fast. Yeah. <laughs> when you're rolling around at the speed of sound. Yeah. And you're following the rainbow. <laughs> I'm so glad that you could you could uh, follow on from that now, because like three years ago, or maybe maybe even two years ago, you'd have been like, no, stop. I mean, I, I still very much dislike Sonic. Like, <laughs> then you know, I had a, an epiphany today that I think I hate Yoshi more. <laughs> Why? Why do you hate such incredible designs? I just don't agree. I don't think he has a good design. Like, yeah, she is I'm sorry. A good, good character design. And you're wrong. <sighs> he's obnoxious, and he's like, looks like he smells. <laughs> he's such a hater. <laughs> that, that's based on based off of nothing. Oh, yeah. Yoshi is a tax yeah. evader. He is. <laughs> I, I, I think I'm Yoshi not breaks happy about smalls, this, but this, uh, this Yoshi hates. Like, I think Yoshi does crimes, but not in the BK2 crime sort of way. I think he like actually commits crimes. He's no Roy. <laughs> exactly. Roy is pretty epic, I'll give you that. And Yoshi is, not, is, is, is not. Yoshi is no Roy, yeah. He, Yoshi doesn't have the flair. He, yeah, he doesn't quite... He, he hasn't quite earned the chalky milk. I'll give you that. But Yoshi is a good character design. You should respect Yoshi. He's just like, he's like like three spheres... He's like two spheres and like... With a stupid tail. I mean, Kirby is like just a sphere. And like, yeah, but like, you know, there's originality to so it's just a sphere. There's just like two spheres, and it's like, god, like, cut down on one. Get original. I, I don't know if that quite makes sense, but, um... <laughs> Yoshi... Bad character design. <laughs> I like Roy and oh, not Lamy. Uh, what's his name? Um, 
one that I made in Mario Kart. Um, Iggy. I mean, aren't those Iggy's just two? Good. Those are two spheres as well. You know, no, just a body and like, a head. Not spheres. They're like you know, oval, really <laughs> ovals. Mario rides, Mario rides on Yoshi's back and sticks his tongue out when Mario punches him in the head. <laughs> but this is the thing he's consented to, so the entire Super Mario World game is this weird TS relationship punch him again. <laughs> Does he actually punch him in the head? I, I don't know. I still good. Good for Mario. <laughs> Enough of the Joshi hate. I need to change the subjects. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Toxic. He genuinely punches and the devs eventually admit it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Horrible. Animal will abuse of Mario. It's fine. I don't really like Mario's character design as well. You don't TV like Mario? Age. Mario's nah. iconic. He's just a guy. You, you just don't know what you're talking about, quite honestly. Like, you, you clearly don't know art. Um, so you should just, like, stay in your lane. Stick, stick oh, to what you know. End the, end the stream now. End the stream yeah. now, then. Yeah, I don't know why. It's my art, right? Why you're doing this? Because you're qu clearly not qualified. <laughs> it, look, no, Mario's just a dude. Peach is just some woman. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> when you boil it down to that, yeah, I mean, <laughs> every designer is just some guy, <laughs> like. He's literally just, just some short guy. Like, I don't get how you can be, like, just like a short Italian guy. <laughs> just say you're Italian phobic and go. <laughs> Racist Hanali. Yeah, I can't be Italian phobic. I like pizza. <laughs> Mamma mia, pizza pie. <laughs> What's like, that? There's yeah, that meme like... that's like, you can always be racist to Italian, so it's always okay. <laughs> I don't know, it's just like Mario doesn't spark joy in me. <laughs> okay. Maybe you've not played enough Mario games. I think when when you're when you're a little guy and you're doing your little jumps and hops, he really grows on you. Because it's Mario's jump that's really iconic about him, honestly. It's it's the feel, you... the game feel. Actually, like, that's the thing, I think, because, like, I did have Mario games when I was young, mm -hmm. and I hated the game feel of it. Oh, right. Well, I, I, like, oh, I actually like, prefer the 3D crazy. games. Um, so maybe you need to play the 3D games. Maybe, maybe yeah. Well, like, I, you know, I played 3D World a bit, and even still, I felt like it was very slippery and, like, hard to control. Really? 3D yeah. World's a great one. I mean, it's fun, but... I wouldn't, like, I would play on someone else's console, I wouldn't get it myself. Yeah. And I am, you know, as everyone knows, I'm more of the Crash Bandicoot platformer type, so... And Panda's asking uh, your your opinion on Toad. What's your take on He's Toad? Kind of obnoxious. Yeah, but, but that's great, right? That's good. That's a good thing. Maybe? <laughs> it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Toad's good. Like, Toad's really annoying. He's got a, a, a really annoying voice and... Kind, like, kind of ugly, right? Um, mm -hmm. But I think that's his charm. Is, is how ugly uh, yeah. and annoying he is. I guess so, and he's not... A stereotype of anything either. It's George Costanza of the Yeah. Like, he's 
you know, the, the developers know what he's about. He's kind of like a useless dude. Yeah. Yeah, he's just a little who guy. Gets... <laughs> yeah, who always gets his princess kidnapped. Useless. <laughs> also, I think I think I said I don't imagine that it took me like literal years to figure out what his name means. <laughs> yeah. I mean because mushrooms, right? Yeah, yeah, I think Those little mushrooms. It didn't cross my mind. It didn't cross my mind. But you just like he doesn't look anything like a toad. Like what's why is he yeah, even like, toad? What's the deal? And then Tiff was the one who invited me. She was like, "No oh, toad sword." I'm like, "Oh, it's the, the mushroom kingdom." <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I just did not make that connection. I was like, what "Mushroom head," you know, like mushroom head. <laughs> I just didn't make the connection. <laughs> I'm done, by the way. <laughs> this isn't getting any shading. <laughs> That's great. Um, Sometimes it's good to keep things simplistic. Yeah, yeah, I think it's good. I think you've really captured Awesome's uh, incredible pattern. Oh, could you? Yeah. Could you share the other picture? That I sent you on Slack of Awesome, where he's looking down, embarrassed. <laughs> oh no! Don't look at me. <laughs> the look of shame. We're, we're wrapping up the sh shameful boy, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was always very ashamed of himself. He was very embarrassed about being perceived. Yeah, um, he's kind of, you know. Sorry, yeah, anyway, ahead. sorry, whatever. <laughs> so I was just gonna say, like, he had the sort of feel that dogs have sometimes when they, like, kind of, like, look up to you when they feel embarrassed. Yeah. They have that look in their eye, kind of like, oh, I did a bad thing. I feel bad, but I don't know how to express it with words. Um, but, yeah, anyway, you were saying? We'll wrap up the stream shortly, but I'm just going to send you some more photos to, to put up. Okay. So everyone can look at cats He wants to be the stealthiest boy, any perception is a failure. He was <laughs> never a stealthy kid. No. He made a lot of noise when he was, like, jumping down, jumping off He's things. so heavy. He was extremely heavy, and you pick yeah. him up, and he's like, <laughs> "No!" But it was—he he used to go. <laughs> that was the noise he. Oh would make. yeah, when he's hungry. Yeah. Yeah. Good are, you, old. are you getting these photos through Slack, by the way? Wait. Oh. You don't, you don't see any of this. You don't. See go away. <laughs> No, I don't want- no! <laughs> it's fine, it's fine if you can see the channels. Uh, Just as long as uh, yeah, you me. can't see what's said. <laughs> and then I'm making the biscuits. Oh, you can see my messy desk as well. Oh yeah, god. It's so much messier in real life than it is in the game. Yeah. This is, um... Luna... Um... Needing my shoulder. Yeah. Actually, like, deadass fell asleep after this. Oh, I've got a picture of my desk, and you can see, um, you can't quite see how much clearer that is, but it's got an, uh, a kind of organization to it, I guess. Oh, yeah. It's when you were doing the, um, volume model for Jerry. Yeah, yeah. You're doing this like vertex by vertex, weren't you? Yeah, it was and that was a weird way to model, but um <laughs> for some reason that's how I did it. <laughs> but I, I guess I did like you can't see that here, but I did have like these sort of like uh wireframe 
like outline um of um mm. of the lion so i wasn't just kind of like freeballing it completely it didn't feel like you were. <laughs> Fog times. I've got some of the uh, the flat while we're uh, packing up. And it's a uh, complete chaos. There we go. Oh, yeah. There's, there's Luda and the, the green boy. <laughs> there's my desk. That's been taken apart. Yeah. Luda in a yellow collar. Yeah. Not the iconic red. Not the iconic red. It's... Flatmates. It's a non canonical don't have Luna. A, don't have a, <laughs> yeah, don't have a good sense of colour. You got Sock Green Boy over there as well. Yeah. That, that boy. <laughs> got as a uh, high school graduation present. Yeah. Well, should we yeah. uh, wrap on up? Um, yeah, so did two drawings. And uh, bonus uh, Alice and Oscar Wilde. Oscar Wilde. Alice. And. This. <laughs> Good stream. <laughs> Good stream. That was, that was chill. I hope yeah, everyone yeah, enjoyed that. I, chill I enjoyed this one. Like, I think it was a nice, nice way to end Ludo and Aracon. Yeah. Um, we're both, both definitely very tired now. Um, <laughs> yeah. And it's late for you. So yeah, you it's not to, really streamed in a while. Yeah, it has been a while since we've yeah. streamed. Especially together. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out. Um, we we do stream if you're watching on on Steam. We do occasionally stream on Twitch. Um, so if you want to check that out, we're at twitch.com/humblegrave. Um, let me go ahead and like just paste the uh, link to that in the chat uh, in Steam. Uh, so if you're interested, like in a... oh, it failed. Maybe we should do it. A... DBD stream or something. EBDB. Yeah, that'd be good to do sometimes. Like me watching you, but that, that's uh dead by daylight for anyone not known. Uh yeah, it won't we, we let me post. EBDB. Maybe it's just maybe it's because uh, it's a, a link and it won't let me do that. Nope. I can't yeah, post anything in the chat. Maybe the chat is just broke on the steam right now. Well chat TV. Yeah, I can't type anything in Steam chat. Weird. Yeah, I can't. Hmm. Steam. I thought it was supposed to be works, but I guess not. Works sometimes. Um, well, anyway, in any case, <laughs> thank you for joining us. Um, yeah, go, thanks for joining all these uh, four days. Yeah, go play the demo while you still can. Um, and... Um, We'll see you go soon. Wish list as well. Yeah, yeah. Go wish list. Um, we will have more news about the release in the coming months, I imagine. Um, but uh, yeah, look out for that. Look out for us on Twitter and like. Um, yeah. Goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye. Good night. <laughs>